Okay, so I'm starting a new little mini series here where I'm going to be doing a very quick, brief inst uh, instructions on what different assembly instructions mean. So we're going to start here with push D word pointer SS EBP plus C. Some of these can be kind of confusing. Like, for example, what's the difference between that and just push EBP or push EDI? So you'll notice when you're looking at assembly, you see a lot of uh, like D word pointer, D word pointer. And then sometimes you don't see that. You just see um, the plain old register. So what's the difference here? So um, let's just go here in order. So uh, push means place it on the stack. D word pointer. So what that means is that we're looking at an address which is pointing to a D word, which is four bytes in size. And the address that we need to go to, which contains the D word, is um, is here, EBP plus C. So we have to go to the EBP register, get the number out of it, add C to it, like I did right here, and then you get 236FAE5, you go down to the hex dump and Ollie debug, you press control plus G, and then you hit OK, and it will take you right to it. Now, the thing you need to note here is we're on a little Endian uh, architecture, uh, x86, which means that we have uh, the data is stored in memory backwards. So you do, you do CC8470DF. So even though we're starting here um, and we do go four in, so that's a D word in, basically. So this, each one of these is a byte, right? CC is a byte, 84 is a byte, 70 is a byte, and DF is a byte. So that's why it's four bytes. Um, but so it's actually, when, when we're actually interpreting it, though, we're going to read it as exactly that. We're going to read it as CC8470DF instead of DF7084CC, even though that's how it appears in the actual memory in the hex dump. So now we're going to get that. Uh, data out, and we're going to place that on the stack. And you can see that that was done right here, CC8470DF. And in fact, you can see the what the instruction before it did, which is push EDI. All that did was it went to EDI. It said, okay, there's zero in there, so we're going to push zero onto the stack. And that's why there's these zeros right here, just before um, this uh, push D word pointer instruction that we're looking at right now. So the question then is, uh, or that, that basically clears up why we need to specify data types, right? Because we can't just say push pointer because it needs to know once it gets to the address when to stop. And the way it knows that is by this push D word pointer because it knows stop a D word away, which ends at CC. If it doesn't know that, it's gonna, it doesn't know where to stop. So it could stop here, it could read all the way down to here, it could read here, it could read there, it could read there. And Obviously, we can't have that because that will change the meaning of the information, and not to mention um, there would be no limit on any storage at all, and that just wouldn't work because you can't, everything would be trying to take up unlimited amount of space and memory. So that's the reason for those instructions. Um, one last thing I want to talk about is SS. SS is in regards to a certain segment register. Um, you can look that up. I will put the uh, link in the description that will explain that. But for what we're talking about right now, the SS itself isn't super important. Um, you just need to know that we're going to this register, getting the memory address out of the register, going to the actual memory address in memory, and then pulling some information out of it and pushing it onto the stack. So um, that's that instruction. And we will cover another instruction next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe.